everyone always says it's gonna be okay, but no one really knows that. That's just what you say. I just feel like it's a little bit unfair. <laughs> I'm so overweighting. Like, when is it gonna be my turn? What did I do wrong? The thing is, I don't even want to be getting married or having kids right now, but I'm just starting to get nervous. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know why it's so easy for some people. I just feel like I'm never gonna find the person if I even have a person. And I don't want to sit around swiping on fucking dating apps and going on these first dates where you just sit down and you're like, let's see if we like each other. It just feels so forced. I don't want to be alone forever. I feel like we're playing musical chairs and I'm, if I don't spend time on it right now, then I'm gonna be the last one standing up when everyone sits down and everyone's gonna get married and start having kids and then I'm just gonna be like the last single person and no one is gonna have time for me. Like I didn't have a bad childhood. It wasn't like super traumatic. But then like, if it wasn't beauty culture that messed me up and made me afraid to like date and take risks, then what is it? Like why am I such a pussy? <laughs> I just feel like I'm always working so hard on something. I'm always working toward a goal. Like, when is it going to be my turn to, like, fall in love and relax and, like, chill? Even with content, content has been so fucking cool over the past few months. But I still don't feel like I'm in a place where I have, like, such an engaged community that I can relax. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what people want to see from me. And that's so consuming. And when stuff doesn't do well, it just feels like my life isn't interesting enough. God. I always used to say that, like, how can you even record if you're that upset? <laughs> I don't know if I can post. <laughs> Honestly, ladies, the bar right now is just so incredibly low that, like, the conversations between me and my other girlfriends will be like, oh my god, this new guy I'm talking to, like, he asks me questions. And everyone will be like, oh, he asks you questions? Oh, where did you find him? Does he have a friend? This new generation of men are pissing me the fuck off. Like, okay, not all men. For y'all that are gonna come and say that shit, yes, not all fucking men. But apparently, all the men that seem to want to slide in my fucking DMs are like this, right? Y'all will come and say that you don't want a girl that's gonna fuck you on the first date. But then when I say, okay, like, because I don't do that anyway, but I'm like, okay, so I expect you to take me on a nice date. I want flowers, all that shit, right? Because it's a fucking investment, bro. I'm looking for a husband. I'm not looking for a fuck buddy. Like, but then... You're like, as soon as I'm like, yeah, I want a nice date with flowers and I want it to be nice. And they're like, okay, so what do I get in return? Like, huh? I know that they're talking about pussy. This is the thing. They're like, oh, so yeah, what do I get in return? I'm like, well, you either want a girl that doesn't fuck on the first date or you want pussy in return for taking me out for dinner. You can't have it both ways. Because in my opinion, what you get in return for taking me out on a nice date and buying me some flowers is then on the next day, I will cook for you. Do you know what I mean? And if anyone wants to sit there and be like, it's not the same, it's not the same, it is. I'm taking time out of my day to cook something nice for you out of my pocket, out of my fridge and my fucking food. So yeah, I would do that. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you, you guys come with the wrong energy. Y'all straight away are just like, so what do I get in return? Well now, nothing. And do you know what? You don't even get the fucking date either because that energy ain't husband material to me. That's not husband material. A man that fucking bitches and moan moans about having to buy some flowers and take me on a fucking nice date. By the way, a nice date doesn't mean expensive. We don't have to go to fucking Miller and Carter or some bullshit like that. Fucking hell, we can go to Nando's for Christ's sake. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to break the fucking bank. It's about that little bit of effort that y'all put in. But when you bitch and moan about it, we don't want to go. This is why there is a lonely man epidemic. This is why. Because women would much, much rather be alone, eat alone, sleep alone, and masturbate alone than have to deal with your bullshit. It's ridiculous. Genuinely. Like, 4B movement is going crazy and y'all will end up single and alone into your fucking late years if you do not sort this shit out. Because it ain't the women. I'm telling you, it's not. It's y'all, for real. Pack it up. At the start, she asked so many questions like, when is it going to be my turn? It's so unfair. What did I do wrong? She knows when she's on dating apps, she swipes left 90% of the time because a guy wore green socks or took a picture in his garden instead of an expensive hotel. So the answer to her question, 
when is it going to be my turn, is never. Let's face it, only a particular type of guy would not bother to ask her any questions, and she chooses those guys. It's probably so bad that if she did find a guy who asked her questions, she would start to see him as a friend. I wouldn't be surprised. The most ridiculous thing she said is that she will cook for the guy on the second date if he pays for the first date and buys her flowers. But if she doesn't like the guy, not only will he not see her for a second date, but that dinner will be fed to her dog. Your dog threw up. Real men of genius.